Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Gland Bodybuilding, Norton. And today I'm gonna to do a couple sets in the garage here. But the first thing I wanna talk about is maintenance workouts and how a lot of times people confuse maintenance workouts with a lack of results or uh, it not being a real workout because you're not continually getting gains. So now something I wanna educate you guys about, especially a lot of you uh, newer natural bodybuilders and so forth, is that as you're training, you will get a lot of gains in the beginning and then you'll notice that you plateau for periods of time. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, the plateau, it has to be shattered. And, and yes, there are certain techniques to shatter certain plateaus at certain periods of time. But the thing is that a lot of people overlook is that when you are at a plateau, it's like the body is establishing a new normal, meaning it's acclimating or taking the time to acclimate to this newfound ecosystem of muscularity that you've created. Now, as it's making those adjustments, right, and, and maybe not necessarily putting on more muscle, it doesn't mean that you're training wrong. It doesn't mean that maybe you're doing something wrong. It, a lot of times it's just that it's a necessary period of time for your body to prime itself for its next level of growth. But before it can do so, it has to establish the normalcy and, and having all systems online. That, at least that's my feeling around it. It feels like the body is trying to acclimate and, and readjust to what the bar is for normal, right? Now, when you work out during that period of time, some people will say, oh, you can bust through that barrier by training harder and so forth. But a lot of you guys will notice that by training harder, sometimes the plateau just gets worse. Or maybe you overtrain or you go backwards, right? So what I'm here to speak about is the power of maintenance workouts during these times and I do believe that by doing easier workouts for a short period of time and then moving back into your intensity and so forth, you can get more gains than by just constantly pushing through and uh, doing super intense all the time, right? And then the other camp, of course, uh, people, they, they'll talk about either or, like, oh, you must be just totally resting, doing nothing because you're overtrained or training. And I would say that is not true. Uh, I think sometimes you can benefit from a week or two off of training. But I do believe there's a sweet spot in between of training super hard or not training at all that is also necessary in order to get the most amount of results out of your body, right? So there will be times where you feel like you're just hitting plateau after plateau after plateau. That would be the time that I would say, go into the maintenance workouts for a period of time. Use a little bit lighter weight, play around with the weights, have a good time, just feel the pump and the stretch, get the blood flowing around, and then see how the body responds to that. And it's almost like, uh, you know, uh, coaxing a deer <laughs> towards you in the woods. You know, they're a little bit skittish. I think sometimes the body can be like that. And by being easier on it for certain periods of time, you may end up harvesting more intensity. I know it seems contradictory by doing an easier workout, you're able to be more intense. But what I'm saying is that maybe there are times that your body will benefit from periods of time where you're just establishing a new equilibrium. And then by establishing this new equilibrium, then you will be able to grow into a different equilibrium at some other point. And maintenance workouts can be a great way to maintain the muscle that you do have and also to make sure that you stay in shape and acclimate the body to staying in shape and so forth. But you're not necessarily uh, breaking it by pushing hard when it's not ready to go hard yet. So one thing I noticed after a few weeks of just doing easier workouts and then you know, a few days of intense workouts and then a few easy workouts and so forth, is that I noticed that my body was raring to go. Like some days it just felt like, hey, I just got to use heavier weight. I just want it to. It, I didn't have to motivate myself to do it. It was like the body was motivated to do it. And, and that's really what you want. You want to not work mentally all the time. You want to work with uh, the naturally occurring forces in the body and see if you can work with them in order to produce more motivation more energy and more results, right? So yeah, uh, long story short, I'm saying don't underestimate maintenance workouts. And today might be a maintenance workout for me. I mean, a lot of my workouts are like that. And then I will do intense days here and there as the body feels like it's ready to do that. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that type of training. 
it's, it's probably going to be more effective for most of you guys out there because it forces you to pay attention to the body instead of just follow a program all the time. So I'd rather you pay attention to the body, not your head, and don't follow your laziness, I'm not saying that, but pay attention to how does the body feel and then respond and create your workout from there. And I think you're gonna get way more results that way. Now that felt really easy. And uh, the funny thing I found with doing easy workouts is that a lot of times your strength seems to go up quite a bit because you just, everything starts to feel really light. And uh, yeah, I guess that would be really what you're after, right? You, you want the weights to start feeling light so then they're easier to lift. And yeah, that, that's, that's really kind of what happens when I do a lot of these easier workouts back to back and then uh, some intense ones interlaced in between. <laughs> So I think this begs the question, and that's, that's really what I'm going to talk further about, is that, and, and, and again, and I'm going to challenge you and also challenge even myself on this concept. Uh, the thing is, is that a lot of people think that intensity is the only thing that grows muscle. And I do agree that that is one variable that you should play around with. But uh, to say that only intensity builds muscle would be false, right? Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's a certain level of intensity that you apply when you're trying to put on strength or, or muscle, but does it have to be 100% intensity? Like going right into failure all the time or whatever? Actually, no. I mean, we see this all the time with the five by five type programs or people that are doing, you know, 10 sets of 10. And of course, it's only like that 10 set that is basically to failure, but the rest of the sets are just basically going through the motions. So um, there is such thing as just immersion into tension right? That, that plays some role. And then everything else is like a musical instrument that you can play with in order to uh, accentuate the song, you know? And, and by adding these different things in different uh, recipes, you can find out where uh, you benefit more from intensity or not. So, I, I mean, I do believe intensity is necessary, you know? Uh, but I think that if you're doing maintenance workouts, it can help you be more intense on the days that you feel like it is the right thing to go intense, you know? But being intense all the time, I would say, is not necessary for muscle growth. It's, it's more like acclimation, maintenance as much as you can, kind of like maintaining your footstep on a ladder. And then once you're really, really stable on that one rung on the ladder, then it's easy for you to step to the next rung. And there's some phenomena like that that's going on when it comes down to muscle growth that also plays a factor. That's, that's really what I'm trying to say. So I'm not trying to challenge your belief systems when it comes down to intensity or progressive overload or, or uh, you know, uh, whatever type of system of training you're finding is working for you. But what I'm saying is that this is also a phenomenon that seems to be at work that plays a role. So I guess my other point is, is that there's really no point in pushing yourself all the time. I mean, it, it could work against you in some cases, right? So ultimately, the underestimation of just subtlety itself is, is really what I'm trying to educate you about, is that sometimes the subtlety of just going through the motions of the weights has way more positive effect than you might think for maintenance, as well as preparing you for future growth. So when you start to bring this little tool called, uh, let's just say uh, moderate training, let's call it moderate training into your toolbox, 
what will happen is that you'll start to get better intensity in your intense workouts and at the same time uh, a better ability to maintain and even more importantly maintain without injury and and that's really what we want right i mean because what's the point of being big and strong in the gym but constantly being injured if you're chronically injured all the time i mean one could argue you're really not that strong you know what i'm saying because you're strong and then you can't lift anything because you're injured so you know that this this whole phenomenon has to be taken into account in order for you to grow and uh yeah i understand my videos are not necessarily uh talking about just simple concepts anymore a lot of times it's it's really more about this type of a philosophical sort of way of looking at things like trying to find different angles or different ways to look at this whole natural bodybuilding game so that way you can get uh, more results but also feel better as you do it uh, and as one guy said in the comments he said that uh, he picked up his dog's shit today and he got more out of doing that than watching my video <laughs> you know you have to be kind of ready to to absorb what it is that I'm trying to say uh, but like I said, I, I'm just trying to share also what I'm experiencing with you guys. And then if you can benefit from that, great. But yeah, that's, that's really what, what I got to say. Maintenance workouts are relevant. They will actually help you get more gains in the long run. Uh, so it's not either or, you know, intense or nothing. That's, that's really my point. Let's do another set here. <laughs> So yeah, that's all I got to say about that. I hope this helps you out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalgalantbodybuilding.com. Mountain.